Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, I had a lovely day, actually. And both houses were very nice, so I was treated very well. And I did show you guys I wore my Loki, my Loki pendant. And I just wore it because it's like something I wear to calm me down. If you didn't see it in the first video, it's like a heart-shaped locket with a USB in the back. And I carry like photos of the gods on there. And I just wore it so I would have like a center of calm because I keep it on this altar all the time. So I would have a center of calm and a center of chill in case anything happened. Because if you haven't been to Thanksgiving in America, um, it's right up there with Black Friday. It is. <laughs> At least in my family it was. And in the first house they were very nice. And, you know, I bought my hands at Grace with everyone else because, you know, they had a family sister. And I did it at the second house as well, and I didn't make any comments because I just, you know, as they were saying their grace, I said to our gods, and I very respectfully, since that was the god I was raised with, I, you know, asked if he would, you know, watch over his people and, you know, so forth and such on, and acted as a guest in the house of his people. I showed respect because those were his not that he doesn't love everyone, but those were his people. It wasn't like a group of Lokians praying to Loki and everybody laughing hysterically. <laughs> they have, you know, they have solemn down. They have solemn, loving, respect down. Loki, Lokians have... Um, thankful for... Um, do I have to behave? I do? Okay. <laughs> but, because I was like smiling the second prayer and I'm like, oh my god, don't make me laugh, Loki. Don't make me laugh. And he's like, just don't think of anything funny. And, um, there was a little activity at the first house, but it could have just been, I don't know the sons in the house, so it might have not been anything. And in the second house, I think I lost all the Norse gods because I saw the smorgasbord, and I, I think I lost them. I think they're still up there having a feed, and I'm like, go ahead. Because I'm like, it's so much food at both places. It's like enough food at the second place. It was enough food for, I think, there were like 15 or 20 people there. It seemed like it. You know me. When it's over two, it seems like 20. But there were a lot there. And so I was like, you know, feasibly, I'm probably never going to set that much food out at once. It was a real smorgasbord, like from one end of the counter to the other and everything. Because their house used to be a cafe, actually. So, you know, why not? And, um... It was really nice. It was really fun. I got out. I got to spend time with my friends. And I got to have dinner with them. Where you usually don't get to sit down and have dinner. Because I won't see the one for instance. It's so cold here. Unless I call ahead to go visit. And it's different than when you're sitting down. You know. To visit. And uh, it was just the nicest thing. The blessing of it was seeing families that could get along. Our family. Our core family could get along. Though you know they're backstory there but if you put in either my mom's side or my dad's side everything disintegrated and just went food bar so it was nice and Loki was happy that you know I behaved myself and I remembered how I was raised um, my mother always raised me that if you were invited to someone's house for their religious festival or you know whatever you know like their religious meal rather um, you behaved and you showed respect, you didn't have to believe in it. And that was not your place to say you didn't believe in it. It was not my place to announce to both of them, I'm pagan and I'm proud. Um, if they would ever care enough to find this channel, they would know. But they would still know I wouldn't do that in their house. Um, you know, I wasn't like drawing a pentagram on the floor with paint. <laughs> you know, Arr, my religion. So I had a good time. So, I hope everyone that went to Thanksgiving or went, was with their family still has a family. <laughs> and it doesn't even have to be religious stuff. Oh my god, not in this country. That's like the one day a year everybody picks to say the stupid stuff. There's a very unfunny old skit on SNL of, um, I think it's Adelaide. They start playing and like everybody starts singing along, but they play it every time everybody starts a fight. It's kind of what you need. The second house, they were smart. They had the game on. So whenever anybody didn't want to talk to someone else because they said something, they were just like, oh, what's happening with the game? 
Uh, okay, that's good. So yeah, and um, I just I really enjoyed myself. And you know, as pagans, we can certainly take part in any culture we want to. We can be there, and you know, we can be silent. Um, you know, it's like um, if you have something that you know you adhere to and everyone else doesn't. Um, family gatherings are not the time or the place to bring it up, usually. Like, if I had still been vegan, I would have went and I would have just taken, like, vegetables. And I wouldn't have made a big deal out of it. Like, I, this lady, literally, second friend, runs a cabaret and runs a wine bar. And, <laughs> you know, she, she doesn't say a word when I just get a Coke or something. She knows. So, you know, it's cool. Everybody can learn to get along with everyone. It's just, you know, you have to make concessions and you have to know that when it's their house, you do it their way. And then when they're at your house, they can do it your way. And, you know, everybody just has to have a level of maturity above two and everything goes well. So I hope you guys like what you saw. And I'm really glad to be home. I was good to be with my friends, but I was kind of missing home and missing putting on YouTube and playing on Pinterest and whatever <laughs> so i hope you guys had a good day and you know if you're gonna do anything else for the holiday if you're gonna go out there and do black friday if you're heading out please be safe if you're gonna do cyber monday small business Saturday, whatever enjoy enjoy responsibly and i will see you guys later Bye bye